guys, uh, I'm Vi and you are watching Vi Chalky Furniture. So we want we want to uh, show you treasures that we found. We've got two school desks and this one we did some research and it is Victorian. So it's extremely old piece of, uh, well, furniture I would call it. <laughs> and that one, it might be Edwardian. Edwardian so that one is extremely old and this one is slightly younger but it's extremely old as well so we will try to restore them we might do some painting as well but we're, we are focusing on the restor restoring them in this video so this one will be the first one and this video uh, of uh, restoration of this piece will be a separate video so if you if you want to see it you will have to click on this uh, link in the top right corner uh, to, to be redirected to this video as well or you can subscribe uh, to our channel and you will be notified when the second video will be uploaded as well so I hope I hope we will do quite a good job with this video and you will enjoy it and you will learn something from it and we will save those two pieces from being put in a trash basically because they are piece of history okay uh, enjoy watching this I'll see you in a bit guys so this is quick look of this desk how it look look like before so as you can see there's every single color of the rainbow inside and there's a lot of rust and holes and uh, basically wear and tear everywhere so we'll be working on that now so the first thing that we had to do is take everything apart and it was an easy task because some of the screws were uh, stuck there was there was a lot of rust and and we we couldn't take the screws as easy as we wanted to so we had to use every possible tool that we had in our workshop to get the screws out and some of them got broken in the process and uh, some of them had to be drilled through to basically manage to, to take this piece apart. This is the quick look of all the damage that's been done by kids through the years with all the tiny puncture holes and inside of this desk, just like I said before, every color of the rainbow was in. Uh, out of curiosity, we wanted to double check how heavy this desk is. So this one and one only leg without any wood, it was 14 kilos, so it's about 30 pounds. So two of them would make 60 pounds and 28 kilos without any wood included in it. So we had our desk in pieces and it was all ready to be cleaned and prepared for all the repair working and uh, bleaching wood for this particular uh, piece because it looks amazing. <laughs> anyway, we are ready to start proper work on it. To remove the dust from this iron we decided to use the wire brush and our drill so it wouldn't be that difficult but it was still a lot of work to do so it took us took us a while to get this uh, to the state that it could be painted and we use a few different attachments to do this and I will show you all of them during this video and we used a proper wire brush as well. This is a quick look of the rusty part that hasn't been touched with the wire brush and the part is it's been already cleaned.
To clean this item from any dust and rust remains, we used I used the white spirit and to make sure that everything is proper clean before the painting. So a piece of cloth gloves and we were ready to go. So while I was cleaning the iron frames, uh, iron legs, uh, Lucas was doing some repair works, so uh, one of many with this uh, project. So this this point where he's trying to fix the uh, rest for the legs, so he had to clean the uh, crack inside and fill it with glue, then put it in a clamps and leave it overnight for the glue to properly work. One of the biggest jobs as well was to fix the lid because it was cracked and uh, it wasn't uh, working properly. So again, we had to use the glue to glue the pieces together and then put it in a, in, um, in a clumps and leave it overnight for the glue to work. And uh, we had to make sure that it's not gonna crack when the people, somebody will open and close the lid of this desk. As you can see guys, this is the uh, uh, trunk, I would call it, maybe, of this uh, Victorian desk. As you can see, it's, it was well used over the years and it looks like it has every color of the rainbow in it. So we need to try to, we, we would like to try to restore the, the original wood. So we'll be using a solution from this acid. I don't even know how to pronounce it correctly, so I'm gonna say this acid. <laughs> and I already have a measure here of 50 grams and I'll be using uh, this, um, this container to uh, dissolve this 50 grams in a, in a hot water. And it should be, because I'm, I'm using 50 grams, so it should be half a liter. And about that and remember that you always have to follow the instructions on the box so it's all dissolved and I've got uh, various brushes here to apply the solution on the wood and we'll see whether we're gonna get some result from it So now guys, we're gonna leave it for a couple of minutes and see whether we're gonna get some result. And we're gonna come back to it and maybe we'll have to, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that we will have to apply more, la more cold layers uh, treatment because this area here is just the worst and basically the, the, the whole piece is just, mm, no words here. <laughs> okay, I'll be with you in a minute guys, keep watching. So at the end, uh, this um, this solution wasn't doing a, a massively great job, but, so we had to use uh, brushes and a scrub like crazy. And at the end, we've decided that we have to use some electric uh, sander to get the the colors off. But uh, we managed. We did the 
we, I think we did a good job to get rid of all the stains that uh, previous owners left with this desk. Lucas also used a small uh, battery operated sander to get into difficult uh, um, spaces like corners and, and all the really close uh, edges. So, uh, well, it doesn't know that yet, but this uh, sander looks a little bit like iron, so that was him preparing himself to ironing 101 lessons. At this point we were ready to paint the, the legs, so we used hammerite uh, metal paint and I used small brush. As you can see I used more like tapping uh, movements instead of just uh, proper uh, brush strokes because I didn't, I, I wanted to avoid brush strokes and I wanted to uh, have this little bit worn out look not so smooth on the legs. The desk is uh, taken apart and all the pieces are uh, sanded but we knew that it has visible signs of woodworm. It might not be active anymore but just to be sure I'm going to show you see all those tiny tiny holes. It means that at some point it had or it might still have wood woodworm in. So where, where is it here see all those all those tiny dots so we'll be using this woodworm killer and um, to prevent any woodworm activity we'll be using syringe to get this solution inside so it's a quite a difficult a long job but we want to save this piece so that's why we want to do it all the other bits that don't have visible uh, signs of woodworm on them uh, we will basically just wash uh, with this woodworm killer so well I hope I hope there's nothing in there and that it's already been treated but you never know it's uh, it's always better to be sure than actually introduce woodworm to your home okay keep watching guys it's gonna be fun So when we were done with woodworm treatment, we had to uh, fill all the holes that we had from woodworm activity. So we used Osmo uh, wood uh, filler were, that is water-based, so it was very easy to, to fill all the holes. And because it was so many of them and it was so much work, it took us ages to get this done. Uh, for some parts, we had to uh, dilute the uh, wood filler a bit because it was too thick and it wouldn't work properly. So sometimes you can add water to your wood filler, but it has to be water-based. And this one in particular allows 10% um, water uh, to your filler to make it smoother and easier to work with.
this desk at the front had some massive holes and at the beginning we thought it, there were holes uh, that used to be a handle in it or something but it didn't make sense because they were not in a, a straight line they were just probably holes that gets made during the this desk was in use so we had to fill the hole with wood pieces and then disguise it with a wood filler so it wouldn't be visible. Another important job that we had to do is to fill out the missing chunk of the wood from the desk. So we cut it to make it square and uh, Lucas glued the, another piece of old wood to fill the, fill the gap and then drilled the holes through it and put the wooden doubles in to make sure that it's not gonna fall apart by mistake so it will hold nice and tight. When the wood filler was uh, dry, we had to sand the, everything down again and this time it was with 180 grit sanding paper to leave a smooth surface. Finally, we were ready to apply wax and we used uh, Liberon wax uh, in Tudor oak to give this piece a darker finish and a more worn out look. So we've applied the wax on every single piece and we left it for a, about 10-15 minutes for wax to be absorbed a bit and then we wiped everything, uh, well we wiped the excess off with the cloth. So after all this hard work we were ready to put the piece back together again which again it wasn't an easy task because the screws were in a bad shape and some of them we had to replace and in some cases we had to drill new uh, holes with uh, another screws to actually make the old screws working again but we were trying to use as many uh, as possible, as many original parts as possible with this restoration and do not use the new parts. We are done guys. We've managed to uh, restore this desk and I think it looks fabulous now. But I don't know if you remember how it looked like before, but it was just in a bad shape. And it's a, it's a, it's a nice uh, description of this, this desk. 
Uh, if you like the video, please uh, do subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up. Also, please give us comments and tell us what you think, whether we've done a good job or not so good job with this restoration. And remember, next week we'll be doing another desk. I will show it in a minute, but before that, I would like to show you this, how it looks inside. So no more colors, just as it should be wood. And I think it looks fabulous. And to let you know that it already found a new home and recently restored um, old schoolhouse. So I think it will fit right in. Okay. Oh, all right. And the next week, on the next video, next week, next video, we'll be doing this one. It's all wood and I think it's Edwardian. So a little bit, a little bit, uh, younger than the previous one but still it looks amazing and i think it's gonna be fab when we're done with it thank you very much for watching and i hope i'll see you in our next video guys bye bye